Good morning. So they are picking a new leader for the UK. Yeah. Well, not the people. No, no, no. They have nothing to do with it. They pick one. Yeah. The globalists. Right. I was wondering when was the last time you had a good leader in the UK? Well, maybe it was Churchill. You know. Churchill was great. That's what I think. Yeah. Maybe it was Theresa May. <laughs> Or oh, Tony Blair, you know. <laughs> I was disappointed with Boris Johnson. I thought it would be good. Because, what I understand, he was popular when he was the mayor of London. People liked him. But I think they got to him, you see. Yeah, I'm talking about the globalists. Now, they shouldn't care about the people, you know, these new leaders. They shouldn't care what the people think. They should only care about what the globalists think. Yeah. That's the ticket to success, to a career. Yeah. And now I'm worried about this, you see, because now this is what I hear. They have four candidates to become the new PM. And one of them is this black lady. Her name is Kemi Badenoch. And they need to work on her. Yeah, because she's been saying some strange things. Yeah, like this. She said, the public rightly expect the police to deal with criminals, not to intervene in Twitter spats. Yeah. <laughs> what does she mean? You know? She means that the police, they shouldn't be arresting people for what they say on Twitter. You know? This doesn't sound good. They need to work on this lady. I think, you know, maybe she's making this mistake now. She considers what the people might think of her. She shouldn't. No. She should just care about what the globalists think. Yeah. Yeah. They have to do some work on this lady. I think so. I also want to talk about food. Uh, there's this company called Aspire. I think it's American, and they produce crickets, right, for food. And they have a plant in Texas, and now they completed construction of this huge plant, the world's biggest for the production of crickets. That's right. And where do you think this plant is now located? It's in Ontario, in Canada. Yeah. Where else? And apparently the government invested in this plant. So they, well, listen to this. Every year they produce 9,000 metric tons of crickets every year. That's a lot of crickets. Just imagine this. 9,000 tons of crickets. And where does this these crickets end up. Well, it's in the food, of course. It's already there. Yeah. Fast food, of course. That's right. So I like bacon, yeah, and chicken, eggs, you know, and uh, meat. <laughs> I like a steak. Oh. I don't go to fast food places, no. And now when I see this, I will not. I don't like to eat crickets. That's the thing. You know? Well, maybe we should reason with our leaders and say, no, we don't want this. Maybe we should talk to them. <laughs> and they will listen, right? Yeah. That's what they have been doing for the last decades. They just listen to the people. And they think, well, they don't like this, so we should just skip it. No, no it doesn't work like this anymore. Uh, maybe, maybe it did in the past. But they, they don't listen to people. They don't listen to you or me. No. They just want you to agree and, and comply with everything. And if you disagree, they will consider putting you in jail. Yes. Right. Now, I was uh, talking about how many people are born in Sweden. 
some time ago, and it's a disaster. The last quarter is a disaster here in Sweden. Number of st live births just crashed during the last quarter. And I know that uh, we have a similar situation in Germany and Hungary and some other countries. Uh, a viewer sent me this. This is from Canada. And uh, this person said that it's very hard to get the information for the total of Canada. But he, this is what he got from, from BC, British Columbia, this big region in Canada. So this is what it looks like. I printed it out. Let's see if you can see it. All right. So these are the last months compared to the average. Yeah. It looks very similar to the Swedish one. Yeah. Now, uh, this is of course a situation and we need to deal with it somehow. How do you deal with this stuff? I don't know. Well, we are a problem. Yes, we are. It would be very much easier if we all drank the tea. All of us drank the tea. It's sort of not fair that we didn't drink it. No. No. It's because we are becoming different. I think so. We are becoming a different kind of race now. We who didn't drink the tea. And it's not fair. It's not equal. You know? And um, that's another good reason for them to hate us. You know? Yeah. We don't show the solidarity to the, all the others. We should all be equal. All should drink the tea. Of course. Well, this is what they want. I will not. I will never drink it. Never. All right. Be good.